is cool. At least I can tell my friends I was leading the Daytona 500 on the last lap. And then uh, we get back around the turn four. I'm like, okay, I can tell them I was leading in turn four. And then we cross the start finish line and we won it. And I just, uh, I didn't know what to say, man. I mean, I just screamed, are you kidding me? Because it just, it didn't feel real. <laughs> when you saw the, the checkered flag, what, what emotions did you have? Did you cry? Did you like, you know? I, I, I didn't know what to feel. I went numb and, uh, you know, I almost teared up a little bit, but I had to hold that in. I can't let Dale Earnhardt Jr. and those guys see me yeah, yeah, crying no. over there. Yeah, I wouldn't I, be good. I, it's, it's, a very, it's a very close community. NASCAR, they do everything right. You know, all the drivers' meetings and everybody's looking out for each other's safety first because you are driving at a high rate of speed. What have the other drivers, uh, have they reached out to? They've actually been really cool about it. Uh, Jeff Gordon texted me last night, Jimmy Johnson. Carl Edwards called me that night, and, and we talked about what he could have done to beat me. And, you know, I couldn't, uh, couldn't tell him too much there. But uh, they've all reached out to me. I mean, a lot of them came to Victory Lane, Bobby Labonte. Uh, it's just crazy to see their support. Uh, when, when you were growing up, uh, like three years ago, who, who, who is, who's your favorite driver? I grew up watching Jeff Gordon. You know, I had the Jeff Gordon lunchbox when I was in kindergarten. And, uh, you know, I think they got a picture of uh, back in the Let's day. Let's take a look right here. Check this out. Back in the day. Look at that. <laughs> Jeff Gordon. Jeff Gordon and what appears to be Macaulay Culkin <laughs> at a NASCAR race. So so immediately, like, you're, you're, you're an instant celebrity. I mean, it is, it is the tightest community. And instantly, like, everybody knows your name. It's, uh, it's been way more than I expected. You know, I grew up wanting to win the Daytona 500, and uh, I just didn't, didn't know the rest of the United States watched it so much, you know. But uh, for the Wood Brothers and everybody involved, I mean, it's just been a really, really cool experience. Yeah, and you're out doing press. What, what kind of press have you done? Uh, we did the Ellen Show just a little bit ago, yep. and uh, we're here hanging out with you. We've, we flew from uh, Daytona to Cincinnati to Chicago uh, to San Francisco to here, and now we're going to Phoenix. So, Beautiful, uh, man. Beautiful. It's been nonstop. So it was a great race, but afterwards, there was a little bit of little bit of trouble. And, uh, to explain to everybody, let's show, let's show the tape. What, what's happening here, Trev? What's going on here? Check this out. I don't even know where to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is uh, that's me getting wrapped up in the moment, waving at everybody all excited, and uh, passed right by Victory Lane. So uh, maybe I should get a map next time. They passed Victory Lane. They had to push them backwards. <laughs> hey. And it doesn't matter if you're 20 or 40 or 60. Dudes never ask for directions. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> just kept going. Yeah, I can't. You probably, uh, probably could have hit somebody because they're, they're through there. Everybody's kind of reaching out and I waving. I probably would have never known it. I was way too excited. <laughs> it would have been a speed bump, you know? You know, we usually, tradition is when somebody has their first late night appearance, we usually do a shot of tequila, but we can't, bro, because how old are you? 20. <laughs> <laughs> And you, you, no champagne, which is traditional to, to use champagne. Yeah, we had a lot of Gatorade flying around <laughs> Victory Lane, and we left the cork in the champagne bottle, so... Uh, so check this out. Here's a picture. No champagne. They're spraying Trevor with Gatorade. <laughs> Have you... Like, that's, that's, a, that's just a great picture, man. I can't... If there's, a <laughs> race, if there's a race to win... That's the race to win. Have you had a chance to look at the pictures or read any of the articles? Or you know, while we were doing some of the news stuff, they'll have the, the video rolling, and I'll see that. But that's the only thing I've been able to catch up on. So I haven't had much time yet, but I can't wait to like, go back and look at all of them. Yeah, I, I asked you before the show what they do, what they do with the car. But explain to everybody what happens to the car. Well, uh, that car, as soon as the race was over, they put it in a museum. So, uh, you know, we wanted to keep that thing and go race it again, but they took it away from us, and uh, we'll have to build new ones now. And what about your outfit, the, the, your, your fire suit? They kept that, too. And your helmet? Uh, they kept that, too. Your shoes? Uh, I don't know. I might get those back. They probably smell bad. Undies? So they, uh, <laughs> what about undies? What about? keeping those. We're keeping keeping those. Right. We can't have those in a Those museum. are your good luck underwear. you got to wear them. Oh, when are you true. racing again? Uh, this weekend at Phoenix. All right. A air them out or wash them <laughs> or do something. <laughs> so when... When you drove, you, you drove uh, to the race, right, in, in your truck? Yes, sir. How far did you drive? Uh, it was from North Carolina to Daytona, so I don't know, maybe uh, 400 miles, something you like that. You drove 400 miles by yourself? Yes, sir. It gives you a little, how did you do it? You just gave you a little time to... Yeah, I just wanted to clear my head a little bit, listen to some music, and uh, just get ready for the race. What kind know? of music do you listen to? Everything. Uh, I was in South Carolina, so it was getting pretty uh, soul going on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got a little soul? Uh, I don't know. I don't have any moves, so don't ask for those. <laughs> All right. So, so how long did it take you to drive 400 miles? Uh, it took about six and a half hours. And how long did it take you to drive 500 in the race? I think it's around three hours. Nice. A little bit faster that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 
beautiful, man. That's beautiful. And how did you get your truck home? Uh, one of my parents drove it back home. Yeah. <laughs> I had planned on driving back with my teammate, and, uh, you know, I, they put me on a plane as soon as the race was over and said, you're going to Cincinnati. So, uh, or not to Connecticut, I'm sorry, not yeah. Cincinnati, but it was. Uh, and because, and since the race, that you, you received much attention from, from young females. <laughs> yeah, I didn't Be better for Listen, so. bro, don't wait till next year. You can have a Valentine tonight. Yeah. 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 Hey, don't go anywhere. Hang on a second. Stamp her hand. <laughs> we, ha we have a, a Twitter photo. Check out what this girl. This is what's going to happen now, Trevor. This is what's going to happen. You're going to see women out there. With, it says, Trevor, will you marry me? That's when you drive fast. Get the <laughs> hell out of there. <laughs> All right. That was last night. You got 1.4 million reasons not to get married. <laughs> That's true. Do you have a girlfriend? No, no. No girlfriend. <laughs> Single, race car driver, champion. Did you buy anything special with, with the money? Not yet. Uh, my, my laptop crashed on the airplane last night, so I might have to do that. I think I, I, think I might be able to get that now. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I've got some friends that actually moved to Mexico and work with uh, some orphans and stuff, so I'll try to help them what, out. What group and, is that? Back-to-back uh, -back ministries. Uh, one of my friends, Lonnie Klaus, he moved there. So it's really, really cool. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Since you work with the ministries in Mexico, I, I, I hope you will allow me to buy you a laptop. That would be a champion. That would be awesome, man. That would be really cool. I like, I like, I like your vibe, man. You're a good kid. And there's very few Latinos in, in NASCAR, right? Uh, Juan Montoya. There's not many, but uh, I think he finished. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> you need to come on. Let's go. We'll get you in a car. You can. I'll, get, I'll drive fast. I'll get out of here. Hey, congratulations. Hey. This is his first late-night talk show appearance. <laughs> 